It was in Redcliffe, on the south bank of the Avon, that the wealthy medieval merchants lived, had their wharves and warehouses, and built the parish church of St. Mary Redcliffe as an offering to God. But the bombs which fell upon the city brought more scars in one night than did centuries of time. Through all the blitzes, 48 members of the fire and defense services were killed and 82 seriously injured. Volunteers, says the bulletin, worked miracles in the darkness carrying injured to safety while planes were roaring overhead and shrapnel was falling. It was a beautifully clear night and I looked up and I saw these stars falling, just like stars. And I said, this is the real thing tonight because when those flares come down, they'll be followed with incendiaries. And I said, and then the bombs will start to fall. But what neither they nor time could destroy, the spirit of our city flourishes even among the ruins. We've made a start and laid the foundations for the new communities. Many houses have been built. Our record is one of the best in the country. But many, many more are still needed. And near the homes must be all the civil amenities for good living. We are building schools as modern in design as the newest aeroplane. Look at the towering flats at Redcliffe and the impression is one of growth. But what sets this constituency apart from all the others in Bristol is the very opposite of growth. Places where the demolition men have been at work, where crumbling cottages have been torn down, where vast areas have been stripped of the huddle of houses that have been there for years. A thousand years of communal life crowded and colourful, as well as splendour, a thousand years leaves squalor. We have inherited our share of the waste and residue of the past, along with its glories. But nearly half a million people wake up in this city every morning and start its vigorous old pulse beating. They are working for the city just as the road sweeper, the sewer man, the gardener and all the others. St. Mary Redcliffe is a remarkable place. The building of the church started about 1280 and completed a hundred years later, it remains one of the finest examples of Gothic architecture in the country. In 1446, it had been struck by lightning and the top two thirds had come crashing to the ground. Now the bird itself, uh, I guess that's a fairly difficult job, getting that down from the top and then getting it back up into position yes, it again, is. isn't it? Yes, it's, it's, it's weight really, you know, the weight of this bird is about a hundred weight. Sounds it's fairly risky to me, have you ever had any disasters? Not really, we, you know, it's like all, all professions know, we, we do have problems, but not on this particular job. This is a bit of tram line that once ran along Redcliffe Hill. It was blown into the churchyard by a bomb in 1941 and has been deliberately left embedded here as a unique reminder of the war. <laughs> 